Hello, welcome to class. This is the Igbo Tutor live. This session is called Let's Talk Igbo Language Live. So wherever you are, you need to know that we are about to start. In the next two minutes or three, this class will start fully. So wherever you are, it's advisable that you join up right away without further delay. This is the Igbo Tutor live. In this session, we always deal with Igbo drills covering a wide range of issues and subjects. This class is to start officially in the next three minutes. So I'm here to, you know, prepare your mind towards that. But if you are part of this class, it's good you start joining up now because in the next three minutes, this class will start fully. This is the Igbo tutor live. I am Mazi Oka. We began to run live uh, teaching in my YouTube channel on popular demand. This YouTube channel is dedicated to teaching Igbo language in a special way. So wherever you are in any part of the world and you're interested in learning Igbo language, this is the opportunity you have to grab with both of your hands. We do this every Saturday, 2 p.m. West African time and 13.00 GMT. So wherever you are in any part of the world and you are interested in learning Igbo language on the go, this is where to be. We teach Igbo language in a unique way. We make teaching and learning Igbo language fun in a special way. So wherever you are and you are interested in learning Igbo language free of charge, you are Igbo friend, Igbo business partner, Igbo fiancé or fiancé, Igbo husband or wife, you are born by Igbo parents, but you don't know how to speak Igbo language. You love Igbo people generally. You really need to be here because this is where we teach Igbo language in a unique way. We call it Let's Talk Igbo Language Live. Here, we expose you to a variety of Igbo words, Igbo phrases, Igbo sentences, and challenge your understanding of the sounds, the alphabets, and then your ability to make simple sentences with them. Here, you also measure your level of progress. Perhaps you have subscribed to one or two Igbo teaching channels and you want to measure your level of progress. This is where to be. Here, we challenge ourselves to speak Igbo language, to measure our level of progress, to really understand how much we have improved or where we need further improvements. This is what we do here in this live session. So wherever you are, hearing me now or seeing me now, is the right time to join because lesson will start in earnest in a few minutes time. Two minutes from now, lesson will start. So begin to join up now while we wait for others to come in. Okay, Stephen, the Chidera Victor is here. You are welcome. No. So I expect others to start joining in now so that we can start our class exactly 2 p.m. West African time, 13.00 GMT. That's when we are beginning, but it's always good we join on time so that we don't waste a lot of time. So I appreciate those who are coming to class right on time. This is what we agreed to do so that we can spend exactly one hour if possible to round up our class. We don't want to spend two hours here. It will be too long for us. So the earlier we join up, the better for us. So wherever you are, Chick is here, McDonald, you are welcome to class now. So wherever you are, join up now. Let's begin our class right on time and then close on time. There is time for everything. We cannot just stay here endlessly waiting for that people to join. If you know this class is important to you, you have to make your time, block your calendar, block the time, and be sure you will join us at, at the exact time unless you think it's not important to you. So we cannot use, uh, allow those who are not taking it seriously to hinder those who are serious about it. And then we keep them here waiting for others who might not really value what we do here. So going forward, we will not be waiting for anybody to start this class. So this is exactly 2 p.m. Nigeria time, 13.00 GMT. And this is the beginning of our class for today. Let's welcome those who are in the class now. Stephanie, Chidera, Victor, no. OK, 
Okay. Um, oh, Chica Zia Madonna, no, welcome to class. Um, Ellie Nozua, no, welcome to class. If you are in the class and I have not mentioned your name, it means you have not dropped your greetings. Drop your greetings so that we can pick your name. Just drop no, they will say something so that we can know you are in the class. You can't be in the class without saying anything. So just say something. If you don't know how to write in Igbo, write in English. It's acceptable. But you can simply write in no, double N O O with dot under. You can simply write in they will. You can write anything. Dialogue, just say something. Okay, Ibo Ibo is here. They will know Ibo Ibo. You're welcome. So the class is beginning right away, as we promised. So last week, we continued our drill on Igbo words, Igbo phrases, and Igbo sentences, and the rest of them. And today, we are continuing from where we stopped last week. I believe the last word we, we handled last week was Sienri, Sienri cook food. If I'm right, please indicate I'm right. So we can move on from there. That's the last word in my own record. The last word we dealt with last week is Sienri cook food. If that is correct, please indicate that that is right so that we can move on from there. And also confirm that my voice is audible enough so that I'm sure I'm not talking to myself. Okay? So, Uzwa, okay, I think you're confirming that. And that is what the last word we dealt with last week. Okay, Chike, they say yes, so I'm in order. Uh, is my voice clear enough? Please confirm that too. Give me a thumbs up if my voice is clear enough. And also hit the like button for our, our live session today. That is one of the things we should always do when we come to class. Don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to share, hit the share button. It may be down your screen or on top, whatever it is, find the like button whether top or down, and hit it now. That is what we expect. That is the best way you can show solidarity, support for us at this point, is to hit the like button, hit the share button. That is the least you can do for us as we come to class. It doesn't cost you money. It doesn't cost you anything. Just your thumb to, to, to say, we well, appreciate you, teacher, for coming to class today. That's all. Just do that, and then we'll move on. So please do that if you have not done that. So we move on to class. We move on to today's lesson. So if you are seeing us for the first time, like I said earlier, this is the Igbo tutor. Okay, my voice is very clear. This is the Igbo tutor live. We, our session is called Let's Talk Igbo Language Live. We began to run live session based on popular demand to complement our videos in the uh, homepage. Of course, there are so many videos you can watch in our homepage. But this live session is meant to measure a level of progress, challenge us to learn more, and then practice what we have learned over time. So that's why we began to run this live session. So if you are an Igbo learner, you subscribe to other YouTube channels, it doesn't mean anything. Just come on board, let's challenge ourselves and measure a level of progress, and then learn new things as we proceed. Today, the first word we are dealing with today is setipuaka. I think we mentioned this last time. I don't know. But I think we mentioned, but maybe not completely. Setipuaka. Did we say that? Write it down. Even if we said that last week, but I didn't take it. So it, does, it means we did not completely consume it. So setipuaka is the word, first word for today. Can you write that in the chat session? Setipuaka. Setipuaka. Please write that now so that we can move to the next stage. What we do here is that we'll give you Igbo word in case you are joining for the first time. You will first try to understand the sound of the Igbo word and the, uh, how to apply the alphabet to give you the right spelling of the word. So when we give the word, you write it out in the chat section. When you write, and then we are, uh, we are sure we've gotten the right spelling of the word, the right pronunciation, we move on to make the, say the meaning of the word, that is stage two, we say the mean, of meaning of that word to be sure we know what exactly we are saying. And the final stage is to make a simple sentence using the word that we are considering. So the first word, like I said now, is setipuaka. Two people have they already supplied their answer. What are the rest doing? Setipuaka, yes. What are the rest doing? Elinozua has written. 
Chikese has written, Setipuaka, yes. Even as I speak, many of us have not hit the like button, and that is not fair enough for your teacher. Many of, of us have not hit the like button, okay? That is not fair for your teacher. Also, hit the share button and share this live session so that others can join up. That's very important to me and to all of us here. That's the best support you can give us at this time. So I have answers already. Setipuaka, yes. Setipuaka in Ozua, okay? You deleted your first answer and you're giving another answer, okay? I hope you are not making mistake by your second answer also, because I said Setipuaka, Setipuaka. Okay, Stephanie has written Chidera, Setipuaka. Chidera, it appears you have not gotten your uh, Igbo keyboard yet. Because uh, your words, I, I hope you have done that so that you can spell your words correctly with the right alphabet. Stephanie, have you gotten the Igbo keyboard? Or you, have, you are yet to install it to your phone? Okay, I'm asking Stephanie, Chidera, have you done that or not? I don't know whether you have done that. Okay, if you have not, it's good you do that so that you can write correctly with the right alphabet. Have you installed the Evo keyboard in your phone? Stephanie, Chidera, Victor. If not, it's important to do that so that you can get the right alphabet. Okay, right. So we have a few answers. Okay, Chidera says, yes, sir, I have. So if you have done that, then you have to pay attention to the right alphabet as we are going on so that you can always spell correctly. Okay, I've had your response, Setipuaka, Setipuaka, okay. Now let's look at the answers here. What do we have? Uh, I have McDonald, Chikezie, okay. He wrote Setipuaka, okay. And then who else? Stephanie wrote Setipuaka, okay. And then Ellen Ozua, Setipuaka, who got it perfectly well. Chikezie got the answer perfectly well, the word, the spelling. So look at the chart of Chikezie McDonald. That is the right spelling. Setipuaka. The I must have dot under. The U should have dot under. That is the correct spelling. So if you are writing, please write that down immediately. That is the right spelling. Setipuaka. Okay. Now we move on to the meaning of this word. What is the meaning of the word Setipuaka? Yeah. Let's have the meaning, write it down immediately. Those who are coming in now, please indicate you are here, send your greeting, drop your day, no, whatever, let's pick your name and welcome you to class. And do not forget to hit the like button. Many of us have not done that. I don't know whether I should pay you money to do that, beg you to do that or nail down for you to do that. That is the least you can do for your teacher to show support and appreciation. This is a free class. We're not asking for anything. So. Why don't you just hit the like button, hit the share button as a way of support to the channel and to, you know, your teacher at this point in time? Does it cost anything? I don't know why. Okay. Um, we are moving on. Uh, yeah. So give me your hand. Okay. Somebody has written the meaning to give me your hand. The word is setipo akag. Setipo aka. I didn't say akagi. Setipo aka. So what is the meaning? Clement and Mehe, you are welcome to class. Okay. I'm waiting for the meaning of the word. Setipoaka. Setipoaka. Yeah. Somebody has written. I'm waiting for others to respond to that. Okay. Give me your hand. That what Ellie knows who are ruled. I'm waiting for other people to do the same. Stretch out the hand or extend the hand. That what she can say wrote. We're going to look at who, who is he, who got the answer correct. So let's wait for others to drop in their response. What is the meaning of the word? Setipoaka. Setipoaka. What is the meaning of the word? Yes. Waiting for others. Stephanie, where are you? Waiting for you. How about uh, Ibo Ibo? Are you still in the class? Let me have your response. Waiting for you. Setipoaka. Yeah. Let me have your response. Let me have your response. Ibo, Ibo, reach out. Okay. That's good. That's fine. Under perspective. Yeah. Who else is trying? Stephanie has not said anything. Who else is trying? We're already so many in class, and I'm getting fewer responses. 
Could it be that others have not settled in into the class? Or they are just coming, they don't know where we are. Okay, let's assume as much. Okay, so set it for Aka. Okay, because many people join late, they've not, not known what we're talking about. Means stretch out your hand. So stretch out your hand or stretch your hand. I know is the right answer. Chikese got that correctly. Is stretch out your hand. Okay. But when you add other words to it, it can mean other things. Okay. If I say, Nyem Akage, is give me your hand. Nyem Akage, give me your hand. Okay. Reach out can also be like Ibo Ibo says. Uh, it can also mean uh, it can also mean that, but that is where you want to use it figuratively as a figure of speech. You know, you say reach out, okay, reach out, extend your hand of love, hand of fellowship. You know, then there's you have to add other things to it. Like if I say set or it means or nyaka give hand. It also means help or reach out. Okay, but in this case, the simple word is setipoaka, stretch out your hand. So that is what the word means. So let's look at a sentence with that. Okay, okay, okay. Stretch out your hand to him. Stretch out your hand to him. That is the sentence. Stretch out your hand to him. What do we, how do we write that in Igbo? Stretch out your hand to him. Stretch out your hand to him. Igbo Igbo wrote, set a puya akage. Remember I said, stretch out your hand to him. You have to start with your hand before to him. Stretch out your hand to him. So you, you have to structure it to capture, stretch out your hand before to him, you add it. Okay, I'm waiting for other people's response. Okay, stretch out your hand to him. Stretch out your hand to him. Yeah, more responses, please. More responses, please. I'm waiting for you, drop your response. What does that mean? Stretch out your hand to him. What does that mean in Igbo language? Clement, set pum akagi. Okay, good effort. Yeah, I'm waiting for others. Stretch out your hand to him. Waiting for, waiting for that, for others to drop their response. In Igbo, Elinozua, set pum akagi ya. Great effort. Set it for Akagi. At least you captured what the first part. Stretch out your hand. You captured that, Elinozua. But to him is what is missing. Set it for Akagi. Yeah, perfect. That is our class captain, Chikezi. You got that right now. Set it for Akagi. Stretch out your hand, Akagi. Then to him, yeah. Okay? So set it for Akagi. Yeah, yeah, that is the word, that is sentence. Set the work and stretch forth your hand to him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that is a very perfect one. So look at what Chikeze McDonald has written. That is the right sentence. I think you should write it now if you are writing. Stretch out your hand to him. Set the work and yeah, yeah. That is the perfect word. Okay, next word for today. Number two. Teta Nora. Teta. Nora, write the word. Teta Nora, okay? Teta Nora, write the word in Igbo language. Exactly the way I said it. They are not as Igbo. They are not so Igbo. Write it in Igbo language. They are not so Igbo. The word is, sentence or phrase is, Teta Nora. Tetanora, great. And it also has written Tetanora. Wow. Chikezie, Tetanora, great. I love that, those responses. More of that coming in. More of that, I'm waiting for others. More of that. Tetanora, 
Just write the word. Don't tell us the meaning. Write the word. Follow the sequence. Let's do it orderly. Great response. Yeah. What are the rest people doing? That is the word. Write it down first before we deal with the meaning. Tetanora. Yeah, waiting for you. Tetanora. Okay, Elinozo is correcting herself. That's fine. Teta Nora. That's good. Yeah. Teta Nora. Stephanie. Teta Nora. Stephanie, you are not still using your alphabet correctly. You are still, Stephanie, you are still not using your alphabet correctly. But you have to be looking, when we give the final answer, when we pick the right answer, look at what they wrote and be sure you copy it to your book exactly the way they wrote it. I'm talking to Stephanie Vigtidera. When we finally give the answer, you look at what that person wrote, the type of alphabet he used, the one that had dot under, the one that had dot on top. Make sure you follow it that way. And let me ask you, Stephanie, have you bought any of our books on alphabet, on any of those things? Because if you have not bought a book on alphabet and go, gone through it, you will surely be making these mistakes. You won't get the right alphabet to use. So, Stephanie, have you bought our books? Have you bought any of them, especially the one on alphabet? and the, the, the sound and the Igbo tone. Have you got that? I'm talking to Stephanie now. I need your response. Because this is the foundation. If you have not gotten the foundation right, you cannot build anything on it. So buying the Igbo alphabet book is the foundation. And then you have the sounds pronounced to you over and over. Because when you buy, you download the audio, you can always play it as many times as you want. So you see, Stephanie, you have not bought a book, so you are the one that is hindering yourself from making progress. After our last class, many, some of you bought, but some promised to buy, they didn't buy. And maybe they think they didn't know the importance. But let those who bought tell you what they are gaining from it. And you can feel it from what they are doing in class, that they are learning. It's a background learning before you come to class to test what you have learned over time. So buying those books are very essential to you. If some people bought all of them after last class, they bought all. We have 10 of them there. And you can buy all of them with less than $25. So is that too much a price to pay to learn? And then that, that, that covers alphabet, Igbo numbers, one to 1,000. So a two-letter words, Igbo uh, tone mark, everything is included in those uh, books. Why will you not buy them? So that you can help yourself learn faster. So Stephanie, please do that after this class. Get those books, $25, buy all 10 books. The book that has both text and audio, you can't get it cheaper anywhere. Some ebooks are only one of them is ten dollars, fifteen dollars, just one. But here we're giving you books for one dollar, two dollar, three dollars. Book that has audio and text, you can't get it anywhere better than that. So get that after this class, Stephanie. So let's move on. Uh, Stephanie, I believe you are going to do that, right? So we're talking about the Tanora. The Tanora. Many people have written that they got it correctly. The Tanora, the Tanora. So we now go to the meaning of the word. The Tanora. What is the meaning of the word? The Tanora. Yeah. Can we drop it? The Tanora. What is the meaning of the word? The Tanora. What is the meaning of the word? Okay. Ibo Ibo wrote, wake up from sleep. Ellen, wake up. Clement and Mehe, wake from sleep. Chikezie, wake up from sleep. She Stephanie, wake up. Great. All your answers are marvelous. I love that. I love the way it came in quickly. So we'll move fast. Theta is wake up. For those who wrote wake up, like Ellen Ozua and the Stephanie, you only said wake up. But I went beyond that. I say Theta Nora. So it went beyond just wake up. So wake up, you can wake up from anything. You can wake up from dreaming. You can wake up from whatever. But when you say no, ra, talking about sleep. So wake up from sleep is the right word. Theta, no, ra, wake up from sleep. So that is the right, the full expression here. Theta, no, ra, wake from sleep. I wake from sleep or wake up from sleep. All correct. So let's make a simple sentence with this. Wake up. Before it's late. Wake up before it's late. I hope this my sentence is not too long. I hope it's not too long. 
Can I just shorten it by saying, wake up quickly. For those of us, because for the sake of those who are just uh, learning at a lower level, but some have gone beyond this. And those who are joining newly, that's why I always encourage you to buy those books. Because with those books, you can, you can, you can fast track your learning and meet up with some of the students here. If we go too low, it will be too low for some of our students here to, to really uh, follow be too low for them so you need to buy those books to boost yourself and meet up the level we are in the life class okay the tanora or say so okay that's that's okay let's take it let's leave it at that the tanora or say so okay clement the tau say so you didn't complete it i said before the tanora is wake up from sleep clement you are still repeating only the die again Okay, the Tanora to Poge Aga, that was the first sentence I made before I changed it to the Tanora, before I changed it to wake up from sleep quickly. Wake up from sleep quickly. Okay, I changed it to that. So, Chick is here. I changed that sentence. Of course, what you wrote is the first sentence I made, but I changed it. Okay, some of you are still challenging me. You are still maintaining the first one, telling me you can do it. We can do it. Okay, that's what you're saying. So, I agree with you. Wake up from sleep quickly. Wake up from sleep before it's late. I also agree. If you write that, I accept. Wake up from sleep before it's late. Wake up from sleep quickly. I'm going to, I'm going to mark your street based on these two. Whichever one you choose to write. Wake up from sleep before it's late. I mark it. Wake up from sleep quickly. I mark it. So choose whichever one you are writing. Write it correctly, because I'm going to mark either of the two you wrote. Ellie knows what I also 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 so. Let me check what you have written. Okay, I start from Ibo Ibo. She wrote Tetanora also so, but that is also so. That is what you wrote also so, because you didn't put the dust under the O's and R. Clement, Emehe, Teta, Osi, So, stay the same problem. No dot under the zeros. Okay, Chike, Zema, Dona, Teta, Nora, Tupu, Oge, Aga, perfect. That is, wake up from sleep before it's late. If you are choosing that sentence, that expression, please look at what Clement Chike, Zema, wrote. Teta, Nora, Tupu, Oge, Aga, that is the perfect word, sentence. Wake up from sleep before it is late. Before it is late is tupu oge aga. That's before it is late. Tupu oge aga before it is late. Okay, so that is perfect. Ibo Ibo also tried that. Tetanora tupu oge agafe. Agree with you. Hands up. Either you use tupu oge aga or tupu oge agafe. Both are correct. Ga gafe. Perfect word. Ibo Ibo. Yeah, you are right in order. And I can see that even up to now. Many people have not clicked the like button. Many have not clicked the share button. Even up to now, even with all my plea, even with all my plea, I don't know why. I should nail down for you. I don't know. Anyway, I'm your teacher. I can't nail down for you. I only give you instruction. So I won't nail down for you. I won't beg you. I give you instruction. I said hit the like button. I said share this or a live session. That is what you owe your teacher now. So if you have not done that, you are a disobedient student, and I know you can't be a disobedient student and learn very well. It means you are not listening to instruction, but I know you are better than that. Okay, so let's look at what other people wrote. Clement, the Tanora, also is so. Okay, but your also is so is not okay because you didn't put the O on that. Okay, somebody has, uh, Ibo, Ibo has corrected her, said, Tanora, also is so. You have done the correction fine. Clement, the Tanora, say so. Fine, that's the correction. Stephanie, the Tanora, Tupu, Gaga, perfect. Chino, Nyerum, Jessica, Kuni, Tenora, or say so. Okay, that is another version. But Teta is a more acceptable central Igbo. Tetanora, that is more acceptable. So Kuni, is more local to your own parlance. I'm talking to Chino, the Jessica, Chino, Nyerum, that is more local, more restricted to a particular locality. Talking to Chino Chin Yellum now. Okay. Chino Yellum, is it the first time you are coming to our live class? Please indicate because I'm not sure I've seen your name before. I'm talking to Chino Yellum Jessica. 
Is it the first time you're coming to our class? Indicate. Say A or A. -A. Let me know whether I know how to write that. A means yes. A, -A is no. Can you write that now? Answer my question. Okay. She so said no. I say write it in Igbo. What is no in Igbo? Gino, yes, Jessica, what is no in Igbo? I challenge you to write that in Igbo. Okay? If you don't get it, members will help you to write that. No. What is that in Igbo? Okay? I'm waiting for uh, Gino. Eh, 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 eh. See her? She says something else. Eh, eh is no now. Okay, she wants to write eh, eh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants to write eh, eh. But that's not how it is written. Mba is no. You can say mba. You can say eh, eh. But I only want to correct you that that way you wrote eh, eh is not the way it is written. It is double e, e, e. But the, with different sound for both e. Eh, eh. The first e will have high tone. The second e will have low tone. It's eh, eh. Okay? Okay, to Jessica now. So it's not e, h, u. It's not e, h, e, h. It's E, 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 high tone, low tone, fine. Okay, Jessica, we are welcome to class now. Okay, please, you need to do something to be able to meet up with our class uh, level. Go after this lesson or go, when you finish, go straight to our, our channel description. The description of our channel, open it, you will see a link to our bookshop. Buy the ebook books there, ebook that have audio and text. Go through them to equip yourself and come up to speed with those of us who are here, so that next Saturday you can flow even more better. Next word is tiempo. Tiempo. So, Jessica, are you going to do that? Okay, Jessica, you did exactly the opposite of what I said. I said the first E is high tone, second one is low tone, but you did the opposite. You use the first E, you use low tone, second one you use high tone. That is the direct opposite of what I said, talking to Jessica, so correct yourself, okay? Correct yourself, Jessica. Okay, this is tiempo. That's the next word. Okay, people are dropping that. Chica zia tiempo. That's fine, Jessica. I've done that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jessica, you got it now. That is no. Eh, eh. That's perfect. Thank you for, for listening. Okay, ibo ibo tiempo. Fine. More answers. I'm expecting. I'm expecting more responses. The word is tiempo. Clement. Tiempo. Fine. Yeah. More, more responses have been expected. Elenozo at TM, fine. Yeah, more of that, more of that. We're about 15 in class, so expected more responses than this. Okay, Stephen, TM, perfect. All right, who else is trying? TM, perfect. Okay, all your responses are correct. That is the word, TM. Now let's deal with the meaning. What is the meaning of the word, TM? TM, what is the meaning of the word? Okay, T really, you are welcome to class today. Yeah, you are right. T really, TM, you got it right. Fine. What is the meaning of the word? TM, what is the meaning of the word? TM, oh, too smooth. Okay, TM, too smooth, you are welcome to class. Right. Too smooth. Is it the first time you are coming to a live class? Please indicate by responding to that question yes or no. Oh yeah, Princess Zemwaya, welcome to class. Appreciate your coming on, on, on board today. Okay, TM, okay. They, mean, they say the meaning is shout. Okay, shout, scream. Wow, I love that. Scream, shout. I TM, you raise a lot. Shout on top of your voice. TM, that is correct. That is perfect. That is shout. TM, scream. TM, cry out. Elenozua, that is it. All are correct, depending on the circumstance you find yourself. Okay, if you scream, you are you are under pressure. Something is trying to hurt you. Cry out also. You are crying out for help. That is tiempo in the marker. Cry for help. Tiempo in the marker. That is you are crying out for help. So depending on the circumstance, shout is correct. Scream is correct. Cry out is correct, depending on the circumstance you found you find yourself and what is actually around you that makes you to shout, that can alter the meaning of the word, shout, in this circumstance. All right, now I've already given you a word. Let's go to the sentence. Sentence is, shout for help now. Shout for help now. Or cry out for help now, whatever way you put it. Now write that in Hebrew. Shout for help now. Write that in Hebrew. Cry 
or shout for help now. Write that in Igbo language. Shout for help now. Yeah. Who is doing that first? Tiempo de Maka Kita. Ibo Ibo, you're on fire. You want to challenge uh, McDonald, our class captain. I'm sure you want to do that. Okay, let's look at that. Ibo Ibo had done that first to write and writing very well. She can say, Tiempo Makenya Maka Kubua. Okay, we shall see. Who got it properly well, Clement? Tiempo Enyemaka Kubua. This class is getting, going to be hot today. Oh. People are not giving, people are not agreeing at all. They don't agree for anybody at all. Early knows who are Tiempo Enyemaka Kubua. I told you, this class is going to be hot today. I love the competition. Okay, more people. Where is Stephanie? Where are my new students? Where are they? Uh, Chino Yerem Jessica, where are you? Where is Princess Ewa? I'm waiting for your response, Ewa. Yeah, just try, make effort. Okay, Stephanie is here. Tien Kwe Nyema Kapubua. Okay, Tien really. Tien Kwe Nyema Kapubua. Okay, Kwe Chiri, yes, that, was, that is the point. Ibo, Ibo, you, 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 you get you get away where, where. You are here, there, there. Kwe Chiri, don't give anybody chance. Ebola. So now, now, so we did now for this class. Nobody will give space at all. Bumper to bumper. Okay, so we are doing it right now. So, many of you got this response right. Let's let's review them. Ibo uh, ibo kita. Some would prefer to use kita or ubua. Both are correct. Depends on your choice and um, where you are speaking from. The part of ibo. Keta, Ubua, both are acceptable. So, Ibo, Ibo, perfect. The chick is here, Tien Puenem, Tien Pumaka, Enyemaka, Ubua. Okay, that is also correct, extending the word, Tien Puenemaka, Tien Maka, Enyemaka, but you are, you, that look like interpreting the, the, the word, word for word, like shout for her, Tien Pumaka, Enyemaka, okay? That's uh, like saying we are picking a word for word. But actually, Tiempo Nyemaka Kubua is okay. Tiempo Nyemaka, okay? But if you also say Tiempo Maka Nyemaka, Tiempo Nyemaka, no. Clement is not Tiempo Nyemaka, no. Tiempo Nyemaka, not Nyemaka. So Clement, amen, that is the word. So look at... Uh, uh, Ibo Ibo response. Nyemaka Kubua, perfect. Edin Ozua, you are also perfect. Ozua is perfect. Mrs. Ozua is perfect. Tiempo Nyemaka Kubua. Ubua. Tiempo Nyemaka Kubua. Agreed. Praise God. Is everyone Tiempo Nyemaka Keta? All right. If you want to use Keta or Ubua, I give it to you. But I still want to complain that some people have not hit the like button. It's not fair enough. Some have not hit the share button for this live session. It's not fair enough. Please do that for your teacher, even now. Okay? Next word is tup oh, tupu is the next word. Tupu. Okay? Tupu. Drop the word now. Tupu. What is the word? Drop the word in chat. Tupu. Okay? Tupu. Drop the word now. What is the word? Tupu. Okay, Chikazi had done that, Ibo Ibo had done that, I'm waiting for that. Tupu, drop the word, drop the word. Tupu, what is that? Type it in Ibo language. Exact spelling, exact spelling. Tupu, okay, Lilo's wife is here, Prince Ewa is here. Great. More, more, more of that, more of that, more of that. Jessica, where are you? Fire, fire, fire. Don't let them push you behind, okay? Stephanie, you are here. Tupu, all right. Jessica, where are you? Tindri, really, Tupu. Tupu, okay. I'm waiting for your response. I won't say anything. Just drop whatever is in your mind. Drop it the way you think it is. What you think it is. Just drop it. Tupu, okay. That's the word. Okay. Who has not answered my question? Who, 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 who? Let me see. Anybody I'm still expecting here to drop? Where is Jessica? Jessica has not answered this question. Yeah, Jessica has not done that. I don't want to leave anybody behind. Jessica, where is your response? Type your response. Jessica, waiting for you. Are you still in class? 
if you are still here, drop your response. The spelling of the word, tupu. Okay, before I give the response, the answer, before I mark the screen. Okay, let's do the marking. The first person that dropped this is Chikezie Tupu, correct. Ibo Ibo, drop her own, correct. Elinozua, correct. Princess Ewa, correct. Stephanie Victor wrote Topo. You use dot under the U where you shouldn't use it. What we said is Tupu, U, U is U without dot under. But if you have dot under, it becomes O. It sounds lighter. O. So we have U, O in Igbo. Two different alphabets. U without dot under, U. U without dot under, O, lighter. But in this case, we say Tupu, which means it's U. You without dot on that. The same is the error of seed really the same error for both of you. Fine. Made, you made a good effort. Let's have our sentence now. Okay? Before we say tupu gaga in the other sentence we made, so that is the word we use for it. Tupu ogaga before. Okay, we're talking about the meaning now. So what is the meaning of the word? Tupu. What is the meaning of the word? Tupu, the word, single word. Tupu. What is the meaning of the word? Just drop it. What is the meaning of the word tupu before? Before fire on the mountain. Oh yeah, fire it, fire, fire it. Two people are competing for leadership. Ibo Ibo and Chikezie. People are challenging Chikezie today. They don't want to allow him to remain class captain every day. Before, before. And I'm surprised that it's this Ibo people that are doing that. Make good day careful. Ibo people want to overtake us our language. You let's be careful. Let's make more effort to. Uh, Jessica, before, in case. Okay, Princess, before. Stephanie Victor, before. Great effort. Really, Mbo, really. Sometimes you go, you go the opposite direction. We say, write the meaning of this word in English language. You are writing Igbo again. Are you repeating what we have done before? Which one is Mbo? Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> I say you should write the meaning of Tupu in English. Really, follow what we are saying. Don't go the opposite direction, okay? So write the meaning of the word in English. Okay? That's what we say you should do. Too smooth. Have you been in this class, uh, in our live class before? Talking to too smooth experience. Have you been here before in our live class? Too smooth. Talking to you now. Have you been in our live class before? Okay? Uh, all of you that wrote before, you are correct. Before. 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 You are all correct. That is tupu. Before. All right? Now we go to the sentence, okay? Um, what do we do? Which sentence? Eat before I return. Eat before I return. Mwa, write the sentence in Igbo language. Eat before I return. Oh yeah, drop it. Drop it now. Eat before I return. Type it in Igbo language. Eat before I return. Waiting for you to do that. Yeah. Okay, who is in that first? Clement Emehe. Rie Tupu Laachi. Good effort. Waiting for others. Chikezie Rie Nri Tupu Alota. Good effort. Waiting for others. Bo Ibo. Ozua. Fire. Jessica. Rie Nri Tupu Mbata. Good effort. Good effort. Yeah. Where's it dropping? As Ozua. Rie tupu tupum tupum alota. Good effort. Good effort. Eat. Maybe everybody say eat food. That's why uh, uh, Ozua did not put food in her own. But if you know that when I say eat, I'm talking about food. Nothing else you're going to eat. You're not going to eat poison. So, <laughs> okay. So, Ibo Ibo, Rie Nri Tupu Alotam. Great. Really, Rie Tupu Malachi. Okay, Tupu Malachi. Good effort. Good effort. I like that. If you are seeing me now, I am the Ibo Tutor, Mazio Kako. We do this every Saturday by 2 p.m. Nigerian time or West African time. 1300 GMT, we are here with you to teach you Igbo language and give you a chance to learn Igbo language 
and to also measure your level of progress. It doesn't matter the channel where you're subscribed to, you can always come here to challenge yourself and measure your level of progress in Igbo language. And if you are here, you've not subscribed to our channel, it's the right time to do that. And beyond that, if you are here as a new student or old student, and you have not availed yourself of the opportunity to get our e-books, you better do that after this lesson because you are missing a lot. Our e-books are unique because they come with text and audio, and the audio are downloadable. You download the audio for keeps and for lifetime possession. And the audio and text are accessible offline. That means when you don't have data, you can still listen to a teacher talk to you and teach you Igbo language. How best can we help you more than this? So if you have not bought those books, do that today. They are so cheap. Between one and three dollars, you get this book that has both text and audio. The link to the bookshop we, is in the description box of this particular video. It's also in our channel description when you go to our homepage. You can see the link to our shop there. It's also going to be attached as a pinned message to this video and to previous ones if you check them. So, avail yourself of the chance today to get these books and accelerate your Igbo learning journey. Thank you for doing that. We move on. And this is really Tupu Mbata. This is what Princess Ezewa wrote. Fine. Um, Sifeni wrote, Rie Tupu Mbata. All these are partially correct, but let's look at what is perfect here. Uh, Clement says, Rie Tupu Laiachi. That is not very okay. Rie, you didn't put Nri, which is food. Rie Nri. Tupu is fine before. But Laiachi, you would have said Tupu Mo Alachi or Tupu Alachi. Both are correct. Is it that you put the M in front of Laiachi or behind it? Both are acceptable. Now let's look at Chikezie. Rie Nri Tupu Malota. That's okay. Alachi, Alota, Ambata. Tupum Mbata, Tupum Loachi, Tupu Mlota, the three of them are all acceptable in Igbo language. Anyone you use is correct. Chinonye Jessica, Rieri Tupu Mbata, perfect. Good effort, Chinonye. I love that. Ellen Ozua, Rie Tupu Mbata, but he didn't put Nuri there, so I don't know what he wants us to eat. So, uh, Ibo Ibo, Ri, Iri, Iri, Tupu, Alota. Oh, no. Okay, you corrected yourself on that. Ri, Iri, Tupu, Alota. That's good. I said it earlier. You can put your M, which is me, behind the Lota or Loachi or in front. Both are correct. Tupu, Malota or Tupu, Alota. Both are acceptable. Did really, Ri, Iri, Tupu, Mo, Alayachi. That's fine. As a one, Ri, Iri, Tupu, Mbata. That's fine. Accepted. Victor, Rie Tupum Alota. You didn't put Nuri, but you tried. Okay, Ezra, Rie Rige Tupum Alachi. Okay, eat your food, even though I didn't put your food, but you are giving us extra. Extra. Okay, we're done with that. Move to the next one. The next word is Tamwe. Tamwe, write it now, drop it. Tamwe. Tamwe. Tamwe, Tamwe, what is the word? <laughs> Some of you have not heard this word before. Okay, Igbo, Igbo has done that. Great. Tamwe, that is those who understand Igbo alphabet sound. They are showing their stuff. Igbo, Igbo, great one. Ozua, Tamwe. It's so Igbo women are not giving us space at all. They know, they know, they know green. How could she be coaching comma? Okay, Alachi and Aloyachi. Uh, please explain the difference. Alachi, Aloyachi. Okay, Alachi and Aloyachi. Both are the same thing. It depends on, it's, it's uh, always a kind of, uh, you know, because of our diversity in our language and uh, intonations and uh, different clans. Some, of, some people pro, pro, prefer to use some spellings which are different from the other people. But the, the, the global meaning in what we're looking at, aloyachi or alayachi, they mean the same thing. It's all about choice of alphabet, O and A, that makes the difference there, alayachi or aloyachi. Both are correct. They are all the same. So there is no special difference between the two. Okay? 
So it's all about choice of alphabet used, but the meaning is the same. A lie achieved, a law achieved. Some people say, Alata Gum. Some people say, Alata Gum. It's all about the, the clan, where you come from, and what is more prevalent in your own clan of Igbo land, in your own in your locality. Okay? Okay, so uh, we're talking about Tamwe now. I don't know what you, are, what you wrote. This is not English. I don't know the alphabet, the keyboard you are using. Look at it. It really, because what you wrote is not clear. Princess says, many people have written Tamwe, and all your responses are correct for Tamwe. Okay, let's deal with the next stage. What is the meaning of the word Tamwe? If you are seeing us now on screen, wherever you are, you are interested in learning Igbo language, you are an Igbo lover, you are an Igbo friend, you are Igbo fiancé or fiance, you are Igbo child, born by Igbo parents, you want to learn Igbo language, you are Igbo business partner, you love Igbo people, you love Igbo language, this is where to be. Every Saturday we do this together, 2 p.m. West African time, or 13.00 GMT. So wherever you are seeing me right now, this is where to be on Saturday if you want to learn Igbo language. This is the Igbo tutor live. So let's do this together. Join up now as we do this. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to our homepage. You will see a lot of videos there that will benefit you. Even our previous live sessions are all there uploaded. You can always watch them again and get yourself educated. Thank you for doing that. Okay, now we're looking at the meaning of the word Tamwe. What is the beginning, the meaning of the word Tamwe? Some people have written something. Some people wrote beginning. Somebody wrote beginning. I said Tamwe. Okay, I'm waiting. Let me know whether that is the meaning. What do, uh, other people say? The word Tamwe. What is the meaning? Even as of now, some have not hit the like button of this live session. Some have not hit the share button. That is not fair. Look either up or below your screen. You see the like button. Hit it now as a way of saying, thank you, teacher. We love what you are doing. That's all. It's not more than that. Some have not done that. And that is not fair enough. Okay? People are writing beginning as the meaning of Tamwe. Beginning. Beginning. Okay? I'm waiting. We shall see whether beginning is the meaning of Tamwe or not. We shall see. Let's move on. Let's move on. What are other people saying? Think really. You are writing in China. You are writing in China. Hmm. You are writing in China. I don't know what you wrote. You wrote in China. Check your keyboard. Check is here. Whisper. Okay. I've, I've had that. Waiting for others. Yeah. Waiting for others. What is the meaning of the word? Tamwe in Igbo language. What is the meaning in English? Tamwe. We've written the words already and the spellings are perfect. We're now looking at the meaning of the word. Tamwe. Yeah. Some people wrote beginning, beginning. Somebody wrote whisper. And then I'm waiting. Any other option? I just have two options here. Okay, Chino Yerem Jessica wrote, be more morning. Hmm. Okay, okay, that's the third option. First option, beginning. Second one, whisper. Third one, be more morning. Okay, these are three options. Any other one coming in? Or we should go ahead and mark the script. I don't think anyone coming in again. Okay, let's mark. Let's mark. Surprising. A new student today is the one that got the answer correct. Momo, Momo, that is Tamwe, is actually a verb. So the murmuring is, uh, is like a continuous, verb present continuous, okay? But the actual word is Momo, that is Tamwe. Momo, Momo, okay? That is the word Tamwe, Momo. That's great. I love that. Jessica, thank you for rescuing the other people today, Jessica. That's great, Chino Yerum Jessica, great effort. Okay, I know you are going to do very well, especially if you are able to buy our ebooks. You are going to advance so fast. So Jessica, I hope you are going to buy our books after this lesson. Will you do that? You, that will help your learning. You are going to move very fast from what I can see now. So Jessica, I hope you do that. Will you do that after the live session? I'm going to check, check off our bookshop and pick some books from there. I'm waiting for your response, Jessica. Okay, let's have our short sentence now. Okay, now. Ha, they, they, 
they began to murmur. They began to murmur. They began to murmur. Hmm? They began to murmur. They began to murmur. Okay, Ibo Ibo, Ha, Malite, Tamwe, good effort. They began to murmur. One person I expect to get this correctly is Ibo Ibo. Yes, because I have my reason. They began to murmur. That is, that word to murmur is why I expected Ibo Ibo to get this perfectly well. I have my reason for that because of our life private lessons. Momo to Momo. Bo Ibo, get the difference between Momo and to Momo. Write it correctly here. This assignment I'm giving you now. Momo and to Momo. Okay. You, you, in, your life lesson, in your life lessons, private lessons, you are dealing extensively with these variations of verbs. Momo to Momo. Both of them doesn't have the same spelling. So I expect you to get it right here for others to see. Okay? And you let them know the, the, the advantage of having a private teacher. It's, you get more, more than what other people are getting. So, Habido wrote, Tamwe, that's what you think is here wrote, but I'm still waiting. Princess, Habido wrote, Tamwe. Okay? Who else is writing? Habido Tamwe. Okay? You are getting there closer. You, are, you, are, you, are, you understand my language. I think you are getting there closer. But it's not yet perfect. It's not yet perfect. There's something that is still not okay with that thing you wrote. Okay? There's something missing. Okay? Look at your spelling of it. Look at Ibo Ibo. Look at your spelling. I, think, I know it's, it's a typographical error. Is a typographical error. Do it again. Ha maritere. I know you wanted to get it in your first sentence there, but you, the second one you wrote has a typographical problem. So write again. You're almost there. Ha maritere. Yeah, you are there. You got my my. You got what I'm saying perfectly well. Ibo ibo. You got it well. You got it. That is it. They began to murmur. So when you use to, the the ibo word would transform to a different spelling entirely. Tamwe is momo, but to momo is itamu. That is what I'm driving at, and Ibo Ibo had done that perfectly well. Look at the last response. That is the correct one. Ha malitere, itamu. That is the perfect sentence. They began to momo. Ha malitere, itamu. That is it. So when you use to, following the verb, in Igbo word, it will transform to a different thing entirely. Okay? It becomes e tam to momo. And the spelling will change. So I, she got it right because she's dealing with that in her private lesson with me. And that's why she was able to, I challenge her to get it and she did it because she was dealt with it extensively. Okay, so ha manitere e tam. That is the right word. That is the right sentence. They began to momo. And the Elinozua also followed and got that. How many did they eat That's perfect. So if you are writing, please write that. That is the correct answer. Ibo Ibo and Elinozua got the answers correctly. And these are Ibo Ibo women. So all those of us who are Ibo people, by birth or by whatever, you better know that Ibo people are taking over our language. So you have to be serious with what you are doing. Okay? So we've done that. So the next word is umala. Umala. Okay. Chikeze said, I got it too. Okay. Chikeze, you didn't got you didn't get it. I saw your answer now. You wrote, okay, happy do it. Oh, on top. Okay. 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 You deleted the first one you wrote. I saw the first one you wrote. That's what I used. I didn't look at the second one you wrote. Okay, the first one you wrote, you, you, you deleted it quickly, and then wrote another one. I didn't see your second one before. I now pass the challenge to uh, Ibo Ibo. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Chikese. 
Okay, so we are talking about Umala. Umala. Hmm? Umala. Okay, I'm seeing responses. Chikeze has written. Ozua has written Umala. Yibo has, Yibo, Yibo has written Umala. Okay, any other person trying that? Umala. Umala. Yeah. Charles, Uwa. Umala. Charles, no. To our class. I think Charles have been in a class before. Charles, am I right? I think you have been in a live class before. Please confirm if I'm right. But I think you have been in a live class before. Am I right? Charles, Charles, Uwa. Am I right? You have been in a class, in a live class before. Am I right? Charles, waiting for your response. Okay, Charles said, just discovered my channel. So, okay, maybe it was somebody else I was thinking you are the one. Okay, by chance, you got my channel. You are highly welcome. This is the Emo Tutor. This is our channel name, the Emo Tutor. The first thing you have to do when you come here is to subscribe to our channel. That's the first thing to do as a new student in our class. Uh, Chimamanda Eze, you are welcome to the class. I think this is also your first time of joining our class. So the first time thing you do is to subscribe to our channel. Second thing is to, you know, after this lesson, go to our channel description, open it up, you see a link to our Igbo bookshop where you can assess about 10 Igbo ebooks and make choice to buy as many as you can. And they're so cheap and they have unique features, which is text and audio, downloadable audio. You can download to your phone or computer and have a permanent access to it, which means when you are offline, you can still listen to your teacher talking to you, explaining your book to you. As you read, I read along with you and explain your books to you. When you are driving, you can listen in a form of MP3. You are doing laundry in your house, you can listen to your teacher. You are cooking, you can listen to your teacher talking to you even when you are offline because you have downloaded that book to your phone or computer. So, and the price is so cheap for both the audio book and ebook to get that two in one. So cheap, one to three dollars to buy any of them. So, three, the whole 10 books is less than 25 dollars to buy all of them. So, you can afford to get that and then equip yourself with a big arsenal to deal with Igbo language. Do that today and you'll be glad you did. Those of us who have bought the book, they can testify that they have learned so much from our books. So I believe Charles Owa, Shimaman Deze, you are going to buy our books after this live session. Are you promising you're going to do that? Say yes or no. Please, when do you have your live videos so I can join? Live videos is every Saturday by 2 p.m. West African time or Nigerian time or 13.00 GMT. That's when we always come on live every Saturday talking to Charles Owa now. So always be ready for that. Thank you. But don't forget to buy the books I mentioned because that will help you to prepare before the live class so you can flow and get the rudiments, alphabets, numbers, two letter words, sounds and everything that will help you to equip yourself better before joining the live class, talking to Charles Owa and AZ. I hope you will do that after this class, will you? Please respond to my question. My question, Princess Emma said, the books are very affordable and helpful. Highly recommended. Yes, highly recommended. That what S. Emma said. If S. Emma bought all of them as a go, all of them, and she's saying the books are highly recommended. I don't think anybody can get it cheaper anywhere. Ebook and audio, affordable, downloadable, permanent access. Anywhere you go, you can always play it and listen to me up to you. So please do after this class. Thank you for doing that. Now we move on and uh, we have done, we are dealing with the word, umeala. That is the word. And the meaning of the word is where we are going to now. What is the meaning of the word umeala? What is the meaning? Umeala. What is the meaning? Yeah. Drop the word. The chichi maman is they say yes, I will. Thank you. Charles Owa said, yes, I'll get them. Thank you very much. God bless you for doing that. That is the only best way you can support the channel and help yourself to learn faster. That is two in one. It's a win-win situation. You learn faster, you support our channel to foot our bills and to always come around to teach you every Saturday. Okay, somebody said, humility is umala. Yeah, any other response for umala? Umala. 
What other response? Igbo meaning, English meaning for Igbo word, umala. What does it mean? Somebody say relaxed. Somebody say humility. Somebody say tradition. Okay, this is a new person. Nkwada, Nkwada John. John, I didn't say omenala. I said umenala, not omenala. I'm talking to Nkwada John now. It's not omenala. I said umenala. If I have said omenala, it becomes tradition. Tradition. That is omenala. But I said umenala. I believe John is getting me. John, I think this is the first time you are joining our live class. Am I right? I've not seen your name before. Okay. Okay. John, if I'm right, please indicate. When the heart is at peace, okay? Okay. When the heart is at peace, that's umala. Okay. That's peace of mind. Okay. That is the option of Chasowa. As it said, patience. 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 These answers are close to that. But we're going to look at any other option? Any other option? Okay, John, you are welcome to our class. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and get ready to uh, check our channel description for our ebook shop, ebook bookshop, ebooks downloadable that has audio and text. Get them after this class. Check our channel description for a link to our ebook, ebook shop. Please get them. There are about 10 books there, so cheap, one to three dollars. So you can always buy all of them. Let us twenty-five dollars to buy all of them. Download them, download the audio, and then enjoy yourself and fast track your Igbo learning process. Okay. Um El knows I say energy, talking about women. Energy. Energy. Okay. Somebody say energy. Any other option? Women Allah. Okay, let's mark a book. Let's mark our book. The first person that wrote the chick is this. He wrote, he wrote humility. Humility. Another person wrote relax. Somebody wrote tradition. I've corrected tradition. That's not correct. Okay, when the heart is at peace, that's oh, 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 patience. Okay. Ellen knows what I said. Energy. Lower energy. No, that's not. It's either humility or gentleness. Gentle or humble. Okay, humility or gentleness. That is umeala. Humility or gentleness. Okay, so let's take a sentence. I believe you are taking note of that. Is either humility or gentleness umeala? Okay, if you say umeala kobi, gentle at heart. Okay, humble at heart. Umeala kobi. So let's take a sentence. Okay, mukah di umeala. Nobi. Mukaho de Umala. Or Mukaho were Ubi Umala. Let me take it this way. Muke aho were Ubi Umala. Mukaho were Ubi Umala. Write that in. Oh, I'm saying it in Igbo. So you're going to write it in English. So what to say in English, you write in Igbo. But I'm saying Igbo, you're going to write in English. Mukaho were. Obi Umala. Let me see those who can get that right. That man has a humble heart. That's the response of Chikizie. Woke Aho Mwere. Obi Umala. That man has a humble heart. That's the re response from John. John said, That man has a humble heart. Great. Charles Warut. That man is a gentleman at heart. Great response. I'm waiting for others. Give it to me. I'm waiting for others. I'm waiting for others. That is the word. I am waiting for others. That is the sentence. Okay, Ibo, Ibo, you are still writing what I said in Ibo. I want the meaning in English now. Yeah, but you got the Ibo version correctly. You got it perfectly well, Ibo, Ibo. But now, tell me the meaning in English. That's where we are now. Tell me the meaning in English. That man has a humble heart. Perfect. Great, Ibo, Ibo. You are doing well. You are doing very well. Okay. 
Okay. Any other response? I believe your responses are perfectly okay. They are correct. Everybody. That man has a humble heart. That man has a gentle. That man is. That man is a gentleman at heart. Accepted. Oh, wow. That man has a humble heart. She can see all are acceptable. They are all okay. Okay. They are all okay. We we'll move on from there. Now let's do the opposite of that. Almost. And the opposite is umoko. Ume oko. Write it. Umoko. We've done with Uma. Now, Umoko. Write it. What is the word? Umeoko. Okay. Uzua. That man is humble at heart. Okay. Accepted. But we'll move on from that. We're dealing with Umeoko now. What is the word? Chikeze has written. Yes. Others, drop your own. Umoko. Fire it now. Fire it now. Umoko. Yes. Write the word first. Don't tell me the meaning. Just write the word. Follow your teacher's instruction. Write the word first before we deal with the meaning and then we make a sentence. Okay. Okay. Umar Clement has written that. What are the other people doing? Just fire it. Drop it now. Umar Yes. Yes. Umar Right, right, right. I'm waiting for you. Drop the meaning of the word. Umar Ume Oko. Okay. Princess, as anyone has written, Umar Great. Who else is dropping the response? Waiting for others. Charles, Umoko. Okay, great. Any other person dropping the answer? Ume, Oko, Umoko, Umoko. Anybody else? Is it Ume, Ume, Ilo? Is it? I didn't say Ume, Ilo. I said Umoko. I don't know where Chimamanda is. It got what she wrote. Okay? I believe Chimamanda is, is a female. Okay, I hope I'm not giving you a female name when you're a man. But is it? This is, I didn't say Umeilo, I said Umoko. Ibo Ibo has written that. Perfect. So is it? Correct yourself. Correct yourself before I mark this script. Is it? Correct yourself. Okay, I know it's a mistake. Please correct it. I know it's a typographical error. I said Umoko. Do your correction before I mark. Okay? Is it? Waiting for you. Chimamanda. Okay, Umoko, fine. Is it? It's like you don't have the Igbo keyboard yet in your phone or computer, I guess as much. It's easy to do. You can install the Igbo keyboard in, into your phone. Go to setting, go to language, and go to keyboard, and select Quati Igbo, and install your phone. So your phone keyboard will be toggled between English and Igbo. When you press an alphabet down, it will give you options of the one that have dot under, dot on top, whatever you want to use. So you can pick the one you want at any time. So we, the answers you got are all correct. Umoko, umoko, yeah. So what is the meaning of the word umoko? What is the meaning of the word? That's the stage you are now. The second stage. What is the meaning of the word umoko? Yes. What is the meaning of the word? Umoko. Waiting. Tick tock. Tick tock. The meaning of the word. Umoko. Give it to me. Ume oko. What is the meaning? Yeah. Challenge. Igbo word challenge. Igbo word drill. What is the meaning of the word? Umoko. In English. What does it mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot tempered. That is uh, whoop. Unquada John. That's in Quada John. That's great. Uzua, be on in fire. Mm -hmm. Oko, after all, Oko is fire. You are right. So let's move on. Any other option? Okay. Okay. Any other option? Mind or fire? Clever them here. At least mind is woman and fire is Oko. You are right. Charles, who was stubborn. <laughs> I love these options. Is it hot tempered? Great. Yeah, I love the variety of options you are giving us. Hot tempered, Ibo Ibo, great. Yeah, I love all that. Anybody stay coming in before we mark the script? Anyone stay coming in? Anybody stay coming in before we mark the script? Anybody? Anybody else? Hot tempered, stubborn, 
mind on fire, chick as you said, proud. Okay. Good efforts. Good efforts. Okay, let's mark the script. Okay. You know, I hope nobody is still sending a reply now. The first person said hot tempered. That is John Nkwada. That is correct. Hot tempered is correct. Okay. Hot tempered. As they also wrote that. Oyibo Oyibo wrote it. Hot tempered. That is the correct answer. Hot tempered is umoko. It's not pride, actually. It's not pride. It's umoko. Even though I said it's opposite of what we said before, but it's not actually exactly opposite. It's hot tempered. But pride, okay, is hot tempered, not iwoko. Yeah, if it is uh, umoko and iwoko is the same thing now. Iwe is anger on its own. So iwoko is rot. Or, or, or hot anger, anger. But ume oko is a temper, you know. Ume is a temper, ume oko. But iwe oko is bad anger, dangerous anger. Hmm? Iwe oko. Hmm? So it can also be used as hot temper, but iwe on its own is anger. So and then pride on its own is obielu. Obielu is pride. Obia de Nelu. Obielu is pride, not umoko. But umoko is hot tempered. But pride is obielu. Obielu. The heart is lifted high. Obielu. Okay. So it's not iwe oko. Iwe oko is, is, is like rot. Mm -hmm. Rot. A, a, a level of anger that is high is rot. Right? So that is Iwe Oko, a high level of anger, which is rot. I'm talking to Chikese here now. I believe he's getting it. But Obielu is pride. Obiadielu, heart lifted up, lifted high, is pride. But Umoko is hot tempered. I believe everybody is getting what I'm explaining. Because the question of Chikese is what is bringing up all these explanations. So you have to be picking them and the one that concerns you. That is the essence of the question. When questions are asked, it plays up some other things, so we have to explain them properly. I believe that is understood. Chikezie, did you understand what I explained? Chikezie, I want your response. Okay? That pride is obielu. Iwoko is rot. Umeoko is hot-tempered. Is that clear enough? Chike just said, yes, that's fine. So let's move on now. But we don't ignore anybody's question. We have to explain properly. That's why we are here. That's why we are in class. Okay? Now we're moving on to a question now. Uh, Moke. Okay. I, we have used Moke now. Let's use one. One, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not going to use him now. That woman is hot-tempered. That woman is hot tempered. That woman is hot tempered. That woman is hot tempered. Or oh, that woman has hot temper. Oh yeah, one write it in Igbo. That woman is hot tempered or has hot temper. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Women, where are you? Ozua, Ibo Ibo. Nguan. As we use woman now, you know, I know I write. Nguan nyaho, mwerume oko. Okay, Clement. Nguan nyaho, mwerume oko. Okay, okay. Princess, eh, mwa ha, mwa ha ni mwo, umu oko. Umu oko. No, you don't use, you don't start with ha. The princess, you can't start with her. I say, one So it starts with one Okay. Charles, how do I change my keyword to Igbo setting? Yeah, I said you go to setting, go to language. And then from language, you move to keyboard. From keyboard, you look for Quati Igbo in keyboard options. You install it, select it, and install. 
your keyboard will always toggle between English and Igbo when you want to use it. So you press the key down. It will give you options of zero with dot under, U with dot under, or whatever you want. They will be there. Okay. Dr. Blah, you are welcome to class, but you always come very late. Dr. Blah, please maintain our time. I know you're a doctor, you're always busy. But please, you should be coming to class earlier so that we don't stay longer. Okay. Dr. Blah, he wrote, Okay, I say, not Munye. Munye is wife. I always say, woman. I say that woman, not that wife. That woman is hot tempered, not that wife or the wife. Okay, Uzua, one who wear the woman. No, Uzua, you are wearing is not correct. I know that's not what you wanted to write. Maybe it's typographical error. Ibo, Ibo, one year who wear the Perfect. Is it? One year who wear the woman. Great. Owa, one year who wear the Perfect. So that is a perfect answer. That is a perfect answer. Take the note of that and update your book or notes. Now, let's go to the next one. The next word is ume. Some of you have not heard this before, but you hear it today. Ume. 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 Write it, write it, write it. Umi opopo. Umi opopo. Ngwa. There ya. There ya. Get it come. What is it? Umi opopo. <laughs> can you say one ya? Yeah? Go new moko. Yes, chikezi. That can also be said. Yes, it's acceptable. Chikezi, that is acceptable. Okay. And he knows who are. That's fine. But I've already moved on now, even though I'm asking your questions. Okay. Chance what has written Umi Opopo. Okay. Now right, right, right. Okay, Chance Owa is one that have not gotten the Igbo keyboard. I hope you are going to get that after this live session. Try to set that up in your phone or computer. I have it in my phone, I have it in my computer. You don't need to go and buy keyboard. Just set it up in your phone. You'll always get it. Okay. Umi Opopo. Hmm. Ablahi. Umi Opopo. Okay. That's good effort. Ozua. Umi Opopo. Hmm. 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 I said, Umi, Umi, Opopo, Umi, Opopo. That is the word. So, let's do that. Many of you have tried. Anybody still trying to type the word I've given? Who else is trying to type the word I've given? Any other person trying to type? Waiting for you? Type now. Let's get it. Good effort. Let's see who got it right. Anybody still coming in? Or should we mark our script? Should we go on? Okay, let's mark. Okay, is it still coming? Good effort. Any knows who Okay, it will try now. Okay, let's see. Let's mark now. Clement Emehe, Umi, Okopo. Good effort. But let's look at the answers. Who wrote first? Charles Owa, Umi, Okopo. If Charles had had, uh, I think Charles doesn't have the Igbo keyboard yet. I think he would have gotten it perfectly well. Because the U, U and I, all the upper, all the vowels here have dot under in this word. All the vowels. U have dot under I, O, U, U. Okay, or have dot under. And that is what Chikezie McDonald has done exactly. That is the right word. So please pick your answer from Chikezie McDonald. Umi. That is the perfect word. If you are copying, you are writing, write that out. That is the perfect response. That is the correct word. Umi. You can also put a hyphen in between to join it together as a compound word. Talking to Donald Chikezie. You can put a hyphen in between, talking to everybody anyway. So join it together as a compound word. Umi. Now the meaning of the word. What is the meaning of this word in Igbo language? Yes. We have about 10 minutes more to close this class. 
what is the meaning of this word in Igbo language? Umi, or, 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 who can tell us the meaning? Yes. Who can tell us the meaning of this in Igbo language? In English language, language rather. We've given the word in Igbo. What is the meaning in Igbo language, in English language? Umi, or, or, or. Somebody has written bone marrow. Okay, I wait for others. Strong mind. That is John. Boa. Bone marrow. Okay, waiting for others to make their own point. Just write what is in your mind. You are here because you want to learn. It's not that you are perfect. So don't be afraid to write what is in your mind. At the end of the day, you will know whether you are right or wrong. And you pick the correct the word, the meaning, you write down if you are writing, or just make effort, participate in the class. That's what makes it lively. So don't hesitate. Don't wait for others to write. Just do your own thing. Write what you think. Type what you think, what comes to your mind. That's how to be in a live class. You participate. Your name is mentioned to show you are participating. Okay? Charles Only three people have written. Okay. I'm lying. Doctor say no idea. That's fine. It's not a crime to have no idea. The, uh, the essence is that when the answer is given, you pick the idea. You write it down. You learn it today. Tomorrow, if you hear the same word, you have idea. So, Ibo Ibo say, am I am? That's great. That's good. That's why you need to come to class. Don't say, I have known so many things. I don't need to come to class. You don't know everything. Even our class captain today, I've learned new things. So nobody is above learning. Always be in the class. You will always learn something each day you come to class. Okay? So let's look at the responses. And then let's see who got it right. Chikezie, bone marrow. That is correct. That is the word. Bone marrow. Chasowa also got it correctly. Bone marrow. Opopo is bone. Umi is the marrow. So, umiopopo is bone marrow. So, those of you who say no idea, Dr. Blahi and the Igbo Igbo, and those who are the rest, please take note of that. Bone marrow is umiopopo. Okay? And the sentence now, I want to eat bone marrow. I want to eat the bone marrow. I want to eat the bone marrow. Write that in Igbo language. I want to eat the bone marrow. Write that in Igbo language. Yes, I want to eat the bone marrow. Are you writing that now? Anna Mechegio, I'm waiting for you. Anna Mecheregi. I want to eat the bone marrow. They are not susibo. Write it in Igbo language. Mwa, what's it so? They are say so. I na mechegi. Charles Owarot, achoromita umiopubo. Good efforts. Princess Ezewa Road, achorom rienri umiopubo. Good efforts. Chikezi Road, achorom iri umiopubo. Great. Doctor Blai. Anna Mary Umiopo, wonderful. Doctor, okay, you are making progress. So. Yeah, you are improving. Oh, I thought you are improving seriously. It means you have, you have gone through. Have you gone through your last book you bought, Doctor? Have you opened your book, the last books you bought? I hope you have opened them, Doctor Blind. I hope you did not just leave them in your phone. Elenozua, Atrom Inri Umiopo. No, you have mixed it up. Atrom Inri. Is it Inri Rie Umiopo? Those who are, you mix the word, the sentence up. Clement, good effort. Nkwada, atromiri, ume, okopo. You tried, bo ibo, miss it. What is the sentence? The sentence is, I want to eat the bone marrow. That is the sentence, ibo ibo. I want to eat the bone marrow. That is the sentence. <laughs> no, to be sincere, Dr. Blind, you have not opened the books you bought last. That is not fair enough. Please, open the books and read. You are missing something that you would have even used today. So
So don't just buy books and keep open them at your leisure time. The first thing you have to do when you buy e book, my ebooks, is to open it and download the audio. That's the first step. So that you can have access to the audio even offline. Even the book itself, you, you have to have it offline. So you can always, at your leisure time, open it, play the audio when you are eating, when you are relaxing, use it to relax. You don't need to, you know, take it hard on yourself and have a special time to start reading the book. Once you download the audio and the book itself, you can assess it offline. So at your leisure time, you can always play it, your headphone, in your car, anywhere, through uh, Bluetooth or anything. You play it in your car, just listen to it, be free with it. That is the way it goes. You don't need to wait until you are assigned time to open it and start reading. You can read while you are eating, listen to the audio while you are eating on your table when you are resting. I'm talking to Dr. Blahi, that's how to do it. So don't wait for a special time to read the book. Then I say which books and how can we find them? Very simple. The books are in our homepage. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to, our, go to our channel description. Open the channel description. You will see a link to our ebook shop. Click on it, it will open the ebook shop for you. We have 10 books there. You can choose to buy all of them or some of them. The books are special because they have both audio and text, which you can download and listen to them offline, right? And the books are so cheap. Audio and ebook, two in one for almost nothing, no price. Zero, one dollar to three dollars for each of them. At most, some of them is four dollars. That is the biggest one or five. But with twenty-five dollars, you buy all the books. Ten books that have both audio book and textbook. So you can't afford to miss them. They are the best asset you have. If you go through them and listen to them over and over, I'm sure when you come to next class on Saturday, you'll be flowing very, very well. Okay. Okay, I should teach her how to speak Igbo. That's why we are here, to teach you how to speak Igbo. The first thing you have to do, Ogechi, is to go to our channel description, open it up and click our bookshop link. Buy the bookshops. You can have the Igbo alphabet, Igbo numbers, two-letter words, Igbo sound word, and everything. So you can all start reading on your own. Those books, you download the audio, listen to the audio. I speak to you there over and over, even offline, when you download them so you can prepare yourself and learn faster. Then come back to class next Saturday by 2 p.m. Nigeria time or 13.00 GMT. Come to class, but you must have bought the book before next Saturday. That is talking to Ogechi. Okay, I hope you do that. Ogechi Okafo, confirm. You are even my namesake. I am Mr. Okafo, I am Ogechi Okafo, you are my sister. And if you want further assistance, we'll see how to assist you even more. We also have one-on-one -on -one live class if you want. Talking to Ogechi Oka. Ogechi, do you get me? Confirm if you heard me clearly and if you are going to do that after this lesson. Ogechi, waiting for your response. Okay? So we move from this and then let's see those who got the answer correctly here. Somebody said, Acharon Miri, let me see who got, who, who dropped the answer first. Chikezie, okay, is princess or not princess? Is that's fine. If you had used the Igbo uh, uh, alphabet, you got it perfectly well. Princess Emma, not Umi. And this is not Ume, it's Ume. U M I with dot under the U under the I. Ume. Under the U and under the I have dot under them. Very perfect. Very perfect. Okay. Now, Ablahi. Anna Meiri Umiopo. Not Ume. Ume. I. Not U M E. U M I. Okay. Anna Meiri. But daughter, your sentence is I am eating. But I said Achorum. I want to. So it's Achorum. Not Anna Meiri. If it is I am eating, it becomes Anna Meiri Umiopo. Talking to Dr. Ablahi. Clement and I had from Rie, not Rie, actual Miri, I want to eat. Now, uh, John, actual Iri, Ume, not Ume, is Ume. Okay? Boyibo, okay? Ablahi, okay? 
I go on, who else? Ozua from Rio, not Rio, from Iri. Okay. Okay, Joker, I've already responded to you. Uh, Nena, which books are, I have? Okay, Nena. Nena, have I answered your questions? You ask which books and how we can find them. Nena, please confirm if you had my response to your question. You are the one I was actually explaining how to get the books. Nena, please confirm that you understood what I said on how to get the books. I'm waiting for your response, Nena. Okay. Chim Eze, Achromiri, Umi, Obobo, perfect. John, Achromiri, Umi, Obobo, okay, good. Clement, Achromiri, Umi, Obobo, perfect. Ibo, Ibo, Achromiri, Umi, Obobo, perfect, okay. The leisure time is very limited, but I will devise other means. That's why I said, make this book a book of realization. Don't take it hard on yourself, Dr. Blind. Download the audio first and the book itself. Let, so you can always listen to it offline anytime you have chance to use it to relax and rest, okay? Okay, Chokaf, I've taught you how to start learning, okay? And you know, actually, I'm going to perfect. That's the correction. we we'll move on. I, I, I was waiting for a response from uh, Nenna. Have you got, do you understand how to get the books that we've talked about? Nenna, waiting for your response, okay? The next word is... Why I'm waiting for Nenna's response. The next word is Ulo Ogu. Ulo Ogu. Ulo Ogu. Write the word. Ulo Ogu. Ulo Ogu. It's a compound word. Join it with the hyphen. Ulo Ogu. Ulo Ogu. Nenna, I'm still waiting for your response. Have you got the, 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 the directive on how to get the books? The Igbo e-books. Nenna. Waiting for your response. Are you still with us? Yes. Waiting for Nenna's response. Why you are going to drop the word Ulogo? Why I'm waiting for your response, Ulogo? I'm waiting for Nenna to tell us whether she got the explanation on how to get the books. Nenna, are you with us? When this live session is also concluded, this video will be uploaded automatically into our channel. The description box of this video also contain the link to our bookshop. Not only that, we're going to pin a, a, a comment to this video and even previous ones, you can see it there, where we have the link to the bookshop. So there are many ways you can assess our bookshop. Okay? Nenna. Nenna has not replied to my question. Nenna, are you still with us? Are you sure you got how to get the books now? Nenna. Okay? Waiting for Nenna's response. Ulog, okay, Ulog. Yeah, many responses are coming in and they are fine. Okay, Ulog, Ulog. Okay, that's great. Okay, that's great, that's great, that's great. Okay. Okay, I love all the responses. Ulog, GKZ, that's fine. All your responses are correct. Ulog, except for those who couldn't put dot under the R, U and O, maybe because they don't have the Igbo keyboards yet but those who are wrote ulo u you use u for ogo i hope that is a mistake okay 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 trailer trash is from germany okay i don't know uh, you are welcome to ebo class if you want to learn ebo trailer trash okay ulo ogu. that's corrected version from ozua so the word is ulo u l o with dot under the u and o then hyphen o still o g w u but dot under o and u and that is the perfect spelling of the word so trailer you're welcome to ebook class okay now what is the meaning of ulo drop the meaning quickly 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 okay Eze, you are right ulo what is the meaning of the word ulo drop the meaning now Drop the meaning now. What is the meaning? Hospital. Chikeze has written, going hospital, waiting for others. Meaning of Ulo Ogo. <laughs> Ablahi Ogo. You are still writing Ogo. I said Ulo Ogo. <laughs> Ablahi. You don't understand your, the Igbo name for your profession. Oh, <laughs> you are going to know it today before you leave. So, hospital. Hospital or house of medicine. Okay. Chasowa, hospital, great. I love that. So, Dr. Blahi, 
hang on, you know where you're operating, what is called in Igbo language today. Okay? Your responses are correct. Hospital is Ulog. So, Dr. Bly, I believe you are hearing us now. You can see it, that where you operate, your hospital is called Ulog in Igbo language. Is that clear enough, Dr. Bly? Is that clear? Okay. Now the sentence, let us go to hospital. That is the sentence. Let us go to hospital. Write it now. Let us go to hospital. Let us go to hospital. Not a blind, it's not all of, it's all of, it's, it's a, look at this, we're spelling O-G-W-U, not O-K-W, O-G-W-U, okay? Let us go to hospital. Let us go to hospital. That is the word, the sentence. Let us go to hospital. Yeah, let us go to hospital. This is going to be the last uh, sentence for today and the last session, last uh, word for this uh, today's uh, live session. We've done enough. Um, then as we are dropping that, uh, let's do that so that we can do the correction. And uh, please, uh, while we are doing this, those of you that uh, sought for guidance on how to get the e-books and those who promised to buy the e-books, please, Confirm that you know how to do that. Do you, are you clear on how to buy the e-books or how to assess them? If you are clear about that, please type yes. Let me be sure you are, you are clear about that. Type yes. Let's be sure you got the directives on how to buy the e-books, how to assess it. Charles will say yes. Yes, I'm waiting for others. Who else want to buy the books that is clear on instructions on how to get it? Any other person? Okay, any other person that is interested in buying the book? If you are not yet clear on how to get it, can you indicate that I am not, just say I'm not yet clear or not clear? Charles has said yes. What about the rest? Are you clear about that? Or you are not yet clear on how to get the books? Somebody asked before how to get the books and I've explained, but she didn't respond again. Okay? And those of you who are going to buy the books, please indicate as we round up this class today. Who are who are who want to buy the books today? Say I will. I also want to appreciate those who uh, bought our books after our last uh, live session. Uh, I don't know the name of that man. It's like I didn't see him today. He, one of you that uh, was in the class last Saturday bought all the books after the class. I appreciate that. And every other person that has been buying, we appreciate. You are the reason why we are always around. You are the reason why we, we are encouraged to continue pushing. You help us to cover our costs and our time to be here and then put in our resources to be here. That is the best way you can support this channel, you can support us to move on and continue teaching. If you don't do that, you are not helping this uh, project. You are also not helping yourself because by buying the books, you accelerate your learning learn faster, you have material to fall back on for revision and for further education. So um, I'm sure you will uh, be glad that you buy those books today. So who are who are buying? Charles is the only one that indicated he will buy. How about the rest? You don't want to buy? Who else is buying apart from Charles after this class? Let me be sure you get the directives. Who else indicates? Yes, while we are marking the scripts, if you know you are going to buy the books after this class, please let us know you are buying. Okay, say I will buy. Drop it in the chat section, I will buy. Who else? Let me look at the answers. Kanyega, no log. Okay, Ibo Ibo is the one that dropped first. Kanyega, no log. Perfect. Chikezie, Kanyege, no log. Yeah, J or Ga, both are acceptable. You prefer to use J, it's fine. If you want to use Ga, it's fine. Both are acceptable. Who else wrote? Uh, Charles Owa. Can you Ga log? That's good. But Ga has to be double A. You know, it sounds Ga, not Ga. Okay, Clement, can you Ga log? Perfect. Ablahi, can you Ga log? Perfect. 
uh, John Kanyigao Law Great. John, you are not buying our books today. Okay, she Mamandez, you are not buying our books. You don't want to buy. Okay, I believe you will be convinced when you buy, you, you will like it. Okay, is it Kanye J. Ulog? So, is it John and the rest of you that are new students? Most of you, I thought you are yeah, interested in buying these books. Try it out today, and you'll be glad you did. Then, uh, Ellen Uzua, Kanye J. Ulog, these answers are perfect. They are perfect and great. So I want to appreciate everyone that came on board today, came online today, came to class today, for your time, your dedication, and your commitment to learning Igbo language. We love you. We appreciate your love for Igbo language as Igbo citizen, Igbo, Igbo person, Igbo wife, Igbo husband, Igbo friend, Igbo partner. We love all of you. Please give yourselves thumbs up for turning up to class today. Uh, it's have been a nice time today being with you. We need to have a thumbs up. And if you think you have learned something from today's class, give us a thumbs up. Just give, just drop your emoji, thumbs up, clapping emoji. So if you know today's class has been successful and okay, and you learned something today, drop your clap emoji, drop your thank you. Okay, you subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. But beyond subscribing, do buy our ebooks. Very important. Only Chasowa is the one that promised to buy our books. I don't know why others didn't want to buy. But I will say thank all of you for coming online. Be sure to be here next Saturday, 2 p.m. Nigerian time, 13.00 GMT. We do this every Saturday. God bless all of you for coming to class today. Kanye na Saturday also. Bye.